Merry Christmas. Uh, it's Christmas Eve and uh, we get to do the candlelight service. I'm really excited uh, because we get to play with fire in the church. I love the candlelight service because while well, light has come in to confront the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it, God becomes man. See, Christmas Eve is more than just sort of like a two minute dose of nostalgia where you sing Silent Night and play with fire, but not enough to get in trouble with by anybody who's a responsible adult around you. Christmas is when God becomes man. Uh, the angel chorus breaks into the darkness and the quiet and the fear and the foreboding and the guilt and the shame and the death and the despair and sings, fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy that will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. This is a promise given to shepherds who stit in fields, but it was older than time. The Son of God would be slain to redeem his people. It is a promise that was given all the way back to Adam and Eve in the garden, to Abraham, to Isaac and Jacob, to the prophets, to the apostles, to you. And this promise is not meant to be sort of stuck in a nostalgia from years past before we had cell phones and LEDs and we had to use candles at night. It was actually to confront darkness. And there is something real and raw about the candlelight service because it's not just pretending to go back in time. It is bringing everything into the present tense. The help that was given, the Savior that was born, the silent night, all of it is for you. It is because God insists upon being your Savior so much that he will come down to earth to get you since you cannot climb up to heaven. But he has. The Christ was born of Mary. Jesus has come into the world to save his people. He is Emmanuel, God with us. So we can't wait in heaven. He has to come down to save you. Tonight we celebrate the birth of a savior because God confronts darkness with a light that the darkness cannot overcome. The light is not simply the nostalgia. The light is not simply us all getting along for about a couple of weeks or a couple of, hours, couple of minutes. I don't know. The light is the forgiveness of sins. Christ came to bear the cross for you, for me, for all. And so when everything is falling apart, when Merry Christmas is sort of a sarcastic kind of thing that we say, Jesus was born for you to die for your sins and your sins are forgiven. So Merry Christmas. We're going to play with fire. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.